Hi, I'm CJ Ellison and welcome to the first video in our author training series called Mastering Your Profile. Today we're going to be covering topics like security settings on your profile, your public image, what not to say and what not to post, and we're going to be going over creating friend lists and the dreaded homework assignment before your next class. So, to begin, I'd like to go over security settings. If you're going to post something, there are ways to make sure that your readers only see it or that your friends and family only see it. I have as a default setting, you'll see over here, set up to public. And that's because this is my pen name profile, as I said in the previous videos, and I live this, I uh, use this as if I'm living it as a public figure, where everything I say, I know that it's going to be public. So I'm very careful about what I post. But I don't use my personal profile anymore. I just don't have time to manage both. So I do have a lot of local friends and family who have uh, friended the CJ Ellison page. I'm sorry, profile. And of course, they like to tease me about that because they always seem to know what's going on in my life and I never need, seem to know what's going on in anybody else's life. There was a time when I posted pictures to my daughter's birthday party and there were neighborhood children there. I knew that the parents would freak out if they knew that it was on my public profile with all of the people I know associated with it. Now let's see, with 1600 friends, they're not really all my friends. I don't know who most of these people are. The ones who are readers, at least I think they're readers, I have categorized them as such and we're going to cover that later on in the video. But I want to show you that if I just did it here, like let test post for my VA contacts. And yeah, they're probably going to tease me later about this, but here we go. I'm going to customize who can see it. Share this with these people or these lists. Now, I have a lot of lists, so I'm going to do specific people or lists. I can start to type it in here and I can say VA friends. Oh no, I think it just says local. There we go, local friends list. And only those people can see it. Obviously, I need to remember what all my friends lists are or they're not going to come up pop it, it correctly. Now, now, let's just say that you don't want anyone to see this particular post, that you know their name in particular, like your boss at work or something. You could put in here their name and they can't see it. And they, right down here, Facebook doesn't tell you, doesn't tell them that, I, that they can't see it. The downside with this is if you mark a post with a specific right here, custom, where it says my local friends will see it, everyone except Boone. Boone's not my local friend anyway. but if I do this and I post it, this post cannot be shared. Now, obviously, if you're working as a public figure and you want a post to be shared, you want to make sure that you have it as public. But if you're sharing it for your readers and you don't want your family and local friends to see it, your readers can't share it because you have put restrictions on the post. And I'll show you. So this goes up as a post right here. Uh, it says I can share it. But if you were to be somebody else that came and looked at it, the share button is gone. And I don't have another way to come on board and show that to you. This is one of those instances where you're going to have to trust me, that they can't share it because of the, the privacy restrictions on it. I can, but they can't. And then once again, it's going to be limited. It can't go public. It can't go viral. So if you were really hoping to have something go viral, then you need to make sure everything is public on it. Okay, I'm going to delete this because I really don't want to have somebody asking me about it. Yes, I want to delete it. Now, uh, that same formula can be used to hide a post from anyone. Do you see here where this globe is? This is public. Now, right now, because I did my last one as custom, I've got to go back and put it as public or my next post will go up with the custom one as well. That's important to remember. I think I had that wrong for two days and my posts were wrong for two days, which wasn't very fun. Now, these are all new right here. They've only been here for a few months. This right here, you can schedule a post, which is really important. They rolled this out with the business pages first. I'm really excited to see that they're doing it with the personal profiles as well. Uh, one of the things I talked about was public image. Your public image is defined by what you decide to say and what you decide to post. So you have to be very careful when you're deciding who you want to be with this personal profile that's under your pen name. What would, you, what would you have in your life that you would rather not be known? I've got some health concerns that my readers know about and I share my concerns with them because they were here with me through my whole journey. 
that before I became published. A lot of my writer friends comment on things now, and most of them are surprised when they see all the, the trauma and horrible crap I'm going through. But you know what? It's life. We just get on with it. There's no reason to dwell on it. Uh, so I don't mind posting that. But let's say you had an argument with your husband. You might not want that put that there, unless you're plotting his death in your next book and you think it'll be funny. But no, I'm really, seriously, you, you have to be careful what you have. If your kids have had a fight and you put that up there, that's great, unless your kids are teenagers and they happen to be on your page and then they're embarrassed. Like, Mom, how could you do that? So, you know, be careful. Uh, there are topics that our parents told us never to talk about in a party situation, politics and religion. I think that applies to Facebook as well, especially if you are on your pen name profile. If you've written a book that touches on politics, ignore what I've said, write whatever you want. If you have a religious themed book or an inspirational novel, again, you make your own decision, you ignore what I've said and put up what you want. I do believe that you don't want to ostracize anyone. And I can tell you right around the time of the, of the elections, it was very hard for me to be on Facebook because of all of the opinions flying around and it was much easier to ignore all of it so that I didn't have to um, you know remove people from a friend list. Also most of the people I know who are going to be taking this class are romance writers. Please be careful not to post something that is sexually excluding comment. Sometimes we don't think about these things but sometimes we are very conscious of it and I'd like to think that I am. If you try to post something that maybe could sound as if it's excluding anyone no matter what their choices are, whether it's religion, race, their sexual orientation, that's something that's going to resonate with your readers and it might decide that they don't want to follow you anymore. I think people are more careful what they put on their business page, but when people have sought you out where a reader has actually decided, I want to friend you, you need to be careful what you post. Um, another point is strong opinions that could uh, um, alienate readers. I have strong opinions on animal treatment and especially a public opinion on pit bulls because my dogs are cousins to the pit bull and I don't like breed ignorance the way that people think that you know these are killing machines and they're awful dogs when you know obviously it's just like a child it's how the child is raised it's how the dog is raised those are my opinions and I don't mind stating them but let's just say I had an opinion about a certain sports team and I started to run my mouth about it if I wrote sports romance people might think it was funny but if I was bashing a team from New York and I was living in Virginia the people from New York might be a little annoyed with me so I try not to you know, I try to keep my strong opinions to myself and you know if I was gonna talk about a sports team it would not be New York it would be you know Texas so uh, <laughs> anyway you get the idea now we also mentioned we were going to talk about what not to post uh, Obviously, I covered the topics of politics, religion, sexually excluding comments, strong opinions. But don't post the same content on your business page as you're posting on your profile. People will notice duplicate posts. They're not stupid. So don't do it. Make a clear division of your page content and your profile content. That way, if you share something more personal on here that you don't mind everyone and their mother knowing, it makes the reader think I'm getting something really special from them, some information that maybe isn't known to the general public. But whatever you post on your business page, make sure you understand the general public will know about it and be able to find it at any and all times. Okay, now on to your homework assignment. We are going to be covering friends lists and how you are able to manage them. I did this when my friends were a lot lower. I hope some of you are taking this this class before you have over a thousand friends. I had it around 400 or 500 and it was really a devil to do. So some of you might be cursing my name out later tonight. Okay, uh, in order for us to start with categorizing friends, we're going to need to go over to our home list. So I hit the home button here and I'm going to scroll down. Uh, we'll go over a lot more of this in depth about how I got these up in the favorites category, but right now you need to learn how to make all of these lists so that they can go into your favorites category. Down here where it says friends, I'm going to hit the more button. These are all of the ones with a little face next to them and the writing behind. I did all of these. The ones up here that have pretty little icons, these are all Facebook smart lists. Meaning, if it notices that this person lives in the same town as you, it'll put them as local. And I put in their local friends. I renamed it. If, if you mention that someone's family, you can lump them in here with family. Close friends, it starts to know who you interact with and will automatically put them in there. But you can change that and put in whoever you want. Uh, writers, uh, this B writers does not mean that they are like B writers and A writers and C writers. It's because when I was first putting everyone in a list, writers alphabetically was way down at the bottom and I had so many writers that I decided to put a B in front of it and I could find it easier. So 
first off you're going to create a list. We're going to create this list and I'm going to say uh, author EMS. I should actually spell the whole word, shouldn't I? Author EMS. Who do I want to add to the list list? Well, I don't have anyone yet, but I can do create. When I create it, it immediately comes up and I can say add friends. Well, I know one person immediately who needs to be on this list. It's Amy Atwell. As this list generates, I'm going to be able to scroll down and click on who I would like to have in this list. And she's coming up soon. There we go. All right, so now that we have Amy Atwell in this list, I only have one person in this little list, but it shows up down here for author EMS. Now here where it says edit, I can add it to my favorites list, and that's going to jump it all the way up here to the top. So when it jumps up to the top, I now have all of these here. Isn't that great? I can see these people and I can find out what they're doing. Uh, I have found out that once you start this list, you need to be the person to go back in and click on people. Click like, interact with people who are on your list, or it's only going to show you the same people after a while. See, all these are from Callie, and yet I have 900 people on this list. So I know that it's not that Callie's doing all the posting, it's that I have not interacted with everyone else enough for them to be showing up. So I need to go and like, you know, click like and I need to interact with people and read things and well okay right now I'm being rather rude and not reading them but you get the point the point is you need to be reading things and interacting with folk and the, the most important people are your readers so that is going to be the one of your primary under your favorites so as a recap your homework tonight is to go through all of your contacts on Facebook and put them into a, a list if it's easier for you to take everyone you know who's family and friends, do that first. Next, whittle it down to writers. And then after that, whittle it down to readers. You can have people on the same list. Now, before we go, I'm going to show you when you get new people who are asking, okay, Dolores wants to be my friend, um, Mawini. I'm going to guess that because she's got a cover here that she's probably an, an author and she's friends with Tina. Well, maybe not. So a little research. I might have to actually click on Doris's name. Dolores looks like looks like she is a reader, and that was Nal Nalini Singh's uh, book cover that she was showing. So since I've done a little bit of research, now I can go. Oops, now I can go for friend, and I can confirm. I hover over this, and I'm able to add them into another list, and I'm going to put her as a reader. There we go. Mar Marjorie Scott, we have eight mutual friends and all of them are writers. So I'm going to confirm and I'm going to put Marjorie in my writer, writer group, writer list. So that's all done. Frank Peter, I don't know who that is. I'm going to guess they might be a reader, but I need to do more research. Julian Christian, well, that's pretty obvious. All these people are writers. So confirm and put them in my writer list. Okay. There we go. You got the basics of creating a list, adding everyone to it, and then making sure you categorize people immediately when they friend you, and over here, how to add them to your favorites. That's it for the lessons for today, and we will be back again tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone.